find the limit of this sequence. So the first thing we want to do is express each one of these as an exponential. And so for these nested roots, we just need to distribute the one half power. Distribute the one half to each term. Add the exponents. Add these three exponents. So this is our a sub n. Let's derive the formula for the a sub n based on the pattern we see. The a sub n for this sequence is... Now we just need to take the limit as n goes to infinity of this a sub n, and that's the limit of the sequence. So as n goes to infinity, this term goes to zero. So this entire exponent goes to one. Two to the one power is two. The limit of the sequence, a sub n, is equal to two.